Hey everyone, it's Amador. And um, so I was asked to kind of um, give a my little thoughts on on um, on my new silhouette cameo. So if you guys saw my previous past few videos, I really haven't had a chance to sh to do projects and stuff like that with work and everything. And I'm done giving you guys excuses because it's horrible. But I got a cameo and I got it on steals.com and um, they had it for like one ninety nine and stuff. Shipping was only like fourteen dollars and it got here in like two or three days. Um, so it was a super awesome deal and I it came with you know the basic stuff but I also ordered several stuff on Amazon and I showed videos on that one too because a lot of the stuff could because you guys know at the craft stores at Michael's Joanne's whatever Hobby Lobby you can't use the coupons anymore for silhouette or cricket stuff not just the machine but I mean like stuff um, and if they can in certain states um, mine they can't so anyhow um, and I was just texting back and forth talking to Sabrina about stuff that you know that she's made or whatever she has made way more things you guys I've done two cuts I like I've cut two things but bear with me so far what I'm what I'm you know getting to learn and stuff like that and keep in mind I did have I do have excuse me a cricket expression and the only reason I'm keeping it is because I have the all of the Disney cartridges and all of that and I have several nieces and nephews and one on the way um so all of that stuff and like the Hello Kitty cartridges and all of those are retired um and I know several of these things you can get online but I figure I already have it what's the point of you know getting rid of it um, and crazy enough, yes, I even ordered the Frozen cartridge, but that's because every one of my nieces and nephews, cousins, whatever, they're all doing Frozen parties and it's nuts, okay? So anyhow, with that aside, I still have that one. I boxed it up and put it away because I'm not using it right now and I want to get to use my, my new tool, my new solo, my new cameo. And if you have two items out, if you don't use one to begin with, it's like you're not going to use two, let's be honest. So... Um, and I show this little picture. This is the first cut that I made. I just think this bear is so freaking adorable. And the reason I like this bear is because it looks like this one from a Simon Says Stamp. And it's like rainy day, May, or I don't know, some chick. She's got like a bear and a duck or something, or a bunny or something, and an umbrella. I really like the shape of that bear, not just a regular typical bear. So, um, I really like this. And I'm like, this is so cute. But it has the hands, you know, in. So, um, super adorable. That was my first cut worked perfectly i connected my i followed the instructions now a few people did as comment that this thing doesn't really come with instructions on how to use everything and that is true it is this the english okay that's the spanish okay well i can read both i'm actually bilingual so um it shows you instructions on setting up now this page i'm actually going to take out and laminate it because if you notice just to have as a reference because i know i can put my cursor over the the thing and it'll tell me what it is and it tells you what all of the buttons are for, just in case, you know, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Maybe I go blind or whatnot. It, to it takes you through the instructions of um, drawing text and whatever, like basic things. Now, there are hundreds of things that you could do with this. And it comes with, you know, images already, downloading shapes. It tells you the basic information of how to use your machine. And in all honesty, if you're just die cutting, you everything is there. Now, you can do search on the silhouette um site or youtube there are millions of youtubes and again thank you for the people that gave me suggestions because i did ask for suggestions on you know tutorials and information and stuff like that and you guys have been amazing and i've learned so much in the past few days when i have a chance like i try to at least watch a video i haven't processed any projects but at least i watch a video and i've learned so much and there's so much more that you can do and personally, I think that maybe they didn't put it all in the manual. Truth be told, it's a waste of paper. It's a waste of time. I personally am not a manual person. I am not a read the instructions. I like to play with stuff. Now, I will read the instructions when it comes to set up, setting up your machine. Reason being, certain things have to go in certain sequence for certain uh, equipment and stuff like that. So you might want to listen to that. After that, go willy-nilly, go crazy. Um, I like the mats. I like the... I, and I, like I said, I'm not putting down either machine they both have qualities but I will be honest and say that if I um if I was at the time right now where I was looking for a machine let's say if I didn't have a Cricut I would have automatically gone for a silhouette because um I love my Cricut don't get me wrong I had I've had my Cricut for years I actually have the Cricut and the Gypsy side note I was actually thinking all of my cards are, are loaded to the Gypsy I was actually thinking of selling my Gypsy um, but I was kind of wondering like what the price point is. I haven't even checked eBay. I know people sell them for an absorbent amount of money, especially if they have, um, you know, tons of cartridges. Just all of the cartridges I've ever had have all been linked to my Gypsy. So, um, 
So I was thinking about that, but that's a side note because I still have the Cricut and I still have most of the cartridges. I've destashed several cartridges, but because they were basic shapes, you know, certain things and things that I got like a really good deal on or whatever. The ones I didn't destash, and I promise you I will not, so don't ask, <laughs> are all of the licensed um, cartridges. All of my Disney cartridges, the Pixar cartridges, the Hello Kitty cartridges, those I will not destash. I will keep them in case I need them for my nieces and nephews. Like I said, I have several nieces and nephews and I always get asked to do stuff like that. So um, I'm not going to de-stash it and later on have to buy it again or try to find a cut and do it um, on my silhouette when I already have that here, you know? Um, so yeah, so in comparison with the mats, like let's say the mats, I honestly like the tackiness, the adhesive on this mat, on the silhouette mat, because I feel like the adhesive on the Cricut mat is just straight up adhesive, where this is more of, of a gummy texture as opposed to just a glue tacky texture. I don't know if that makes any sense. To me it does because I'm crazy probably. So I like the mats better for the silhouette. Now, I've used the newer mats and the older mats for Cricut. I have several of them. I have several new ones. Um, but I do like the silhouette mat better. Um, with that said... Um, I think the Cricut mat is much thicker and sturdier. I haven't broken this one yet. I have some cuts on this one already. Um, I may do my cutting a little too deep, I think, um, for what it is, because you can see the lines right there. And I will show you what that turned out to be in a minute. Um, so yeah, so when it comes to that, I mean, and I've been just going goofy uh, buying accessories and stuff like that, you know, like the, um, where's my the thing? Okay, here we go. Like, I bought an extra blade on Amazon. Most of the stuff has come from Amazon because it's the same price as if I would buy it with a coupon, basically, at the craft stores, if I could. I bought this set. Where'd the rest of it go? Um, and I showed these in my previous video where um, I bought this set with a $25 gift card, uh, download card. You get all of the tools, the $25 download card for $29. So I thought that was a good deal. And truth be told, I have yet to even open these. Um, so I might de-stash them or gift them to somebody that has a silhouette because I use the tools I already have. You know, I have tons of tools already because I've used, I've used them and I've learned some stuff along the way with my Cricut. So, um, but the blade, I like to have an extra one just in case so I don't have to run out in the middle of the day to get whatever. So, um, I do like, now some people are like, well, you have to paper cut. Well, if I'm not... It's kind of a two-fold sword, um, double-edged sword, because for a Cricut cartridge, back in my day, back in the day, you know, you would pay $20, $30, $40 for a cartridge. Nowadays, you can get them for like 20 bucks almost. Um, but you would pay $30 and you'd use one image. So it's kind of vice versa. You know, here I buy per image and I put them all in my wish list on Silhouette so far. And I haven't bought any outside um, SVG cuts and stuff like that and on that note I did get this in let me flip over the size I did get this in this is the um, Silhouette studio um, designer edition um, I got the uh, the design I mean okay yeah, I got the designer edition which I got off of Amazon for like 26 bucks and typically they go for um $50 I think and sometimes you can buy them on sale and stuff like that, but I figure for $25 extra I've been told that I won't regret it, that it's awesome. I've seen the things people can do, and it's amazing. But also, I wanted to let you know, you don't really need it if you're not going to sit here and design and play and make all sorts of stuff. If you want to use cuts you get online, you just need the machine, truth be told. And even with that, I learned, you know, how to finagle a few little things. Uh, like I said, this is the first cut. The second one I'm going to show you right now. Oh, and yeah, I was crazy enough to also order. Let me get it from over here. This The cover. The silhouette cover. I have the gray one. Um, at the, the only reason it was the same price actually online um, at Amazon as opposed to the store, but because at the store every time I go they only have that deep, that bright aqua blue one, and that's a little bright, and I don't want it to distract from anything in my craft room. So the gray one's kind of more subtle, and it just kind of you know goes over that, and it is what it is. So um, I've learned that. Pay attention to the YouTube tutorials. <laughs> Some people have, you know, do a little search of what you want to do, and they'll show you how it's easy when you get the practice into it. The other morning, I got off of work, and I'm like, you know what? I really want to do something because, like I told you about the stamp, it has the arm sticking out, and I'm like, that would be really cute if I wanted to put something. I don't know if you guys have seen the new um, Lawn Fawn stamps with all the little critters, and they have their hands out, 
and they're like holding stuff. You can put stuff in their hands. And I really like that idea. This is adorable, don't get me wrong. But I wanted something like the heart's dimensional, even though it looks like like it's got boobies or something. Um, see, I do say stupid things. Um, <laughs> I wanted to have the hands. And I'm like, okay, well, I was going to go look for another cut. And I'm like, well, if I can alter it and design it and save it. And I learned also how to save to my library. Just right click and save to your library. So what I did, and I made it larger just because I was playing with it. I got it to do this. It's the same shape, you guys. And um, I bought these when they, every once in a while, they have a sale like 40% off, whatever, on Silhouette on their things. Just during the month, during the time, just go through it, look at it. You know, I'm sure you guys already know. Um, just put everything in your wish list. And then when they have a sale, boom, put it in your cart. You know, if you don't need it right away. I, what I did was I, I and of course you have to do two layers because you have the background that goes through here and whatever. Um, I, Took the took this. I enlarged it and you know enlarged the image so I can see it better. The arms. This is just a cut, you guys. This is just a cut. I took this cut and I just turned it around so it was going this way, connected it to here, and then I just um, welded it together. So now the little bear is sticking his hands out, and I can put whatever I want, you know, um, in its hands and and whatnot. Not that I have anything on hand. How random is that? You know, I could put anything in his hands. And I was going to put paw prints, but I feel that it's just too literal. I like the simple, sweet shape of it. Um, and I'm going to use it in, in, in a project. I already cut them out for the project. Um, I actually cut some out of tilde paper. Let me show you. But these ended up being too big for what I need them for. Um, so this one's out of tilde paper. So yeah, let's see. Um, so anyway. You know, learn how, kind of, you know, look up to see how you use your mat so you don't waste paper and stuff like that. Um, but anyway, I, I just did that. And like I said, basic, and I got these for 59 cents. I got this, this is this image. And I even thought, okay, should I put pop I'm like, they're going to be too tiny and they're just going to be like cumbersome, whatever. And I don't like to overcomplicate it. And then I, I was thinking, well, it doesn't have anything on the belly. Maybe if I had done a little circle of the same paper, you know, I could have done that. And that does look cute. This is actually a one inch punch, circle punch. So mainly because this was an afterthought, like I was thinking, well, what if I do a, um, a, uh, b -b 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 <laughs> a, a belly on it, you know, and I can, if I want to go back, I can, you know, do whatever. And on the silhouette itself, on the program, on the regular one, even it has where you can make oval circles, whatever, and you can just make it to shape, you know, overlap it. So anyhow, so what I did was I took, you know, these are one cut and this is the other one. I overlapped it and then I placed the um, the hands on this one on the front part and on the back part and I made sure that they were just aligned. I mean, it took me a few minutes just finagling with it, you know, playing around, trying different things. And then um, I was frustrated because I couldn't figure out how to save it because on the top part of the, of the program, it has a little, um, sorry, I cut my hand. It has a little... Um, a little disc you know like you would on your computer to save it but you can't save it that way you just have to right click the image and save to your, it'll save to your library and then when you pop it open it shows in your library on the left hand side um but yeah i thought that was super like i said i'm gonna get my money's worth i'd like to treat these dice these cuts these cuts i have to remember they're cuts i have to treat these cuts like i do my stamps and my dice can i at least justify it for two projects you know just so I don't feel like I'm wasting my money. And here, I here right by itself, I've already have I have two different cuts. So I have this one in the system and in my library already, and I have this one as my own design. So and I just think it's personally freaking adorable. Um. So yeah. So like I said, and this was super quick, easy. You know, you just see some quick YouTube tutorials and everything. I don't think I'll be doing any because they're I I know nothing still. I literally, from what people know and what I know. I'm a toddler, okay? I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm barely crawling, you know? So, but check out those channels. I mean, there's so many, you guys. Um, and I just did a search, but um, just to show you how easy it is. So, like I said, this this cut cost me, it was normally 99 cents or whatever. They were on sale for 40%, so I paid 59 cents. So I'm gonna work this. <laughs> I'm gonna work this like a stripper, like a stripper here in Vegas, you know, covered in glitter and all night long because I'm gonna get my money's worth. But already I have two different designs and it's so simple to alter certain designs like that. You know, this it, it, this was just a cut that goes in here. I just flipped it over, flipped it over, excuse me, and welded it. I just went ahead and put like the little, and this is just craft paper. This is Recollections craft paper. I absolutely adore the Recollections craft paper because it has a tone that I like as opposed to the other ones where it just might look like dirty paper. 
but um like i said you can always add the little thing i i'm gonna leave it like that because if i add like a little banner or whatever i just want it to be a simple little bear so yeah so that's you guys those are my thoughts um i know i could be absolutely wrong about certain things i'm still learning so bear with me um but i know that people were asking me because i'm, I'm very truthful about the products that i buy and whatever and it's like a relationship at least if you're starting to date someone you can just cut it off and be on your way but this one it's like you already paid 200 dollars for the dinner you might as well get something out of it you know <laughs> i already paid 200 bucks for my cameo i better get something out of it but honestly truth be told i love it i i truly do i may be getting frustrated in the future i may have gotten a little bit frustrated but because i don't know how to use things and like i said i'm not an instruction manual person I like I just want to hop in and do it and there's so many things and I can see now why there's so many buttons and clicks and ticks and whatever but because there's so many things you could do with it like I said I'm not telling you to go out and buy one because they're not cheap you know if you have a Cricut hey keep working with your Cricut you now with the design studio with the Cricut one it's much easier and you can just you know do stuff online as well which I wish they had that back then or when you know but hey it is what it is but I will be honest and say that with my Cricut connecting it to the studio i have yet to been able to load it because back and forth and i just truly believe that maybe because it's an older machine that's not their priority and it is what it is you know newer everybody wants newer better faster but the fact that i invested so much money in that machine and i feel that i can't get it to connect and my my laptop is brand new everything else is brand new i have you know nerd quality wi-fi but it's just not working so in, in truth be told i have yet to connect my cricket to the to the studio to the craft room or whatever that crap it's called you know i'm not i wasn't even able able to link my gypsy so and i i did everything all of i did all of the instructions everything i just got frustrated you know i wish i was smart like marilyn and she works in it and stuff but i'm useless for that i want it simple quick and easy um and i know if you i'm pretty sure i i guarantee you if you have a newer cricket it'll be a breeze to set it all up but you know let's be honest businesses stay in business because you know they get you to buy the new one so i figured instead of buying a whole new cricket and have the same damn machine just sitting there i bought a silhouette so like i said that's my opinion um you know look around shop around and, you know it's there is a difference when it comes to like the licensed cartridges and stuff like that you know um that they have but you never know you know they might have oops sorry they might have it for silhouette soon or you might find images online um, there's so many images and so much you could do with the images that they do have. Um, so I'm going to actually upload my um, designer edition and see how that works. Um, and may, and obviously watch a way more tutorials on how to do that. So hopefully that made sense. Um, hopefully, like I said, I'm not uh, promoting to go buy one. They're not paying me anything. But that's what I've noticed difference wise, you know, the loading. Oh, and by the way, I know a few people were like concerned about the touch screen. The touch screen works perfectly fine. The first two times, I'm not gonna lie, it was like I would press it and like I would wait a second, but now it's like a light tap and it's going. I think it's the first time I used it, so you never know. But everything works, you know, light tap and it goes. It connects to my laptop right away. It just, I like how you can do the repeat job on it because in the Cricut, you could just do, you know, you would enter the, you know, push the buttons on whatever thing you wanted. And if you wanted more of them, you would just load the mat again and just put repeat. Um, and you could do the same thing. You don't even have to go back to your laptop and redo, you know, do the settings and send it. I mean, you can, but you can just load the paper again and do the repeat job. So, like I said, um, honestly, I love it. Um, some people do find it frustrating with the programs and stuff like that, but it's, you're not going to be... A horse jockey right out of the gate I mean you got to learn how to ride the damn thing you know let's be honest those are my pearls of wisdom for today <laughs> you know so you guys just be patient and look around and there's people that know way more of this and you know they're willing to show you on YouTube and stuff like that so hopefully that helps you guys oh my gosh I am in love with my little teddy bear all right I don't know if anyone's ever uh, done that but boom I claimed it um, <laughs> okay, I'm stupid um, and you guys I haven't even finished my coffee okay I need to finish my coffee so hopefully that helps I'm just looking on right now it's 20 minutes almost and I do apologize for the babbling I just kind of wanted to get that information out all right so thank you guys for stopping by and I will talk to you soon